So last time we were up here at Whiskey Broker leaning over a big butt, it was a 33-year-old Tormor. Today though, I'm leaning on a three-year-old Stoischer butt. This is a second fill sherry butt that is exclusively matured Stoischer for the last three years, 11 months, and two weeks. And we were rushing to get it in the bottle so that we can officially bottle a three-year-old whiskey. As I'm sure you all know at home, whiskey has to legally be three years and one day old to, to be labeled as scotch. Uh, so we've managed to get this right in the bottle. We've actually vatted it together with a nine-year-old barrel, adds a level of maturity and some of those top notes that you'd be looking for. Uh, also sort of depletes a little bit of the youthfulness from this cask. But the beautiful thing about this Stoischer is that it has been maturing in sherry, which you don't see as often. So wonderful fruity notes to match that heavy, rich Isla peat. It is an absolute winner. Yesterday, we disgorged our two casks of Stoucher into a big old vat over there. And we had a little bit of water. We've come back today to taste it, make a final decision. We've got one here around 58%, and then one here we've just splashed a little bit more water in. This one's still got loads and loads of smoke on the nose. Quite nice and sweet and crunchy as well, but this one, a little bit sweeter, a little bit spicier as well. So what we've just done is ask David to put it down to, I think, just around 56%. It's come out 56.7. I think it's perfect bottling now. I think you guys are really, really going to enjoy this. Slange. So we've well, we got these two... Um, Barrels, drums, drums, exactly. That look a little bit industrial, but I guess the whole thing looks bloody industrial, right? Um, put these two together. Much more similar liquid this time than the Bunner for the Signature Series. So two bourbon barrels, both triple distilled, both peated, and both peated to the same level, right? Yep. Uh, 50 ppm, was it? I'll need to double check, yeah. 50 or maybe 55, I can't remember. So yeah, we've put these together sitting there marrying, marrying in the IBC. And they're actually um, 11 years old. Oh, they, they turned 11, have they now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, just recently turned 11, I didn't realize. So there we go, two 11-year-old barrels of English whiskey sat together. Um, so we're gonna just have another think about water, where we want to have it, where we think it's gonna taste good. We've been advised 50% by the guys themselves at the English Whiskey Company. So um, I don't think we'll go all the way there straight away. So we'll add a little bit of water in a minute do some more tasting, try not to spill it, see where we go. Ah, oh, the peat comes back out a bit more. Really? Okay. That's well, cool. you tell me, I don't know, on the nose it's not prickly anymore, it seems more peaty. Yeah. That's really nice. Soft peat, yeah, but it's not that nose prickle. The nose prickle is like dead at the end, but it's not actually disturbing anything now. I really like that. Tell me what you think. Mm. It's like a whole new dram, right? It's a completely different whiskey. Yeah. It's wow. weird. That's nuts. I'm glad we didn't bring it down to 50. I think that's golden. Wherever this is now, that's it. Yeah, I think so. This is good. Yeah. Um, I think that's better than the original sample that we had as well. Yeah. What I like about it as well, because it's triple distilled, it is quite a, a different sort of mouth feel. And it's, yeah. Like the peat, like you say, it is a light, soft peat. And I'd imagine that's probably because of the triple distillation, having tried the sort of standard double yeah. matured, you know, heavily peated. It's kind of almost like a confusing amount of peat because you can tell like it's slightly earthy. There's a bit of smoke there, even though it is light and soft, that you don't get that kind of oiliness right. on the palate that yeah. you expect. It's much cleaner yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, mouth. Yeah and very much different. This is the thing, obviously, launching the signature, signature series with a Stoischer and then a peated English whiskey. And a lot of people are like, oh, two peated drams, but actually they are so far apart in, in the style. Like you say, the yeah. Stoischer has that sort of oiliness, that you know, richness from the sherry cask, whereas this is triple distilled in just two you know, fresh bourbon barrels. So yeah. um, I'm delighted with that, actually. Arrived on time, got it down to a nice strength. Happy days. 
Yep. Onwards with the signature series. I think another really successful day up here at Whiskey Broker for the team of the Whiskey Baron. We bottled some amazing new whiskey after yesterday with the Lechag and the Brackler. We have vatted together our Stoucher and our English whiskey for the launch of the Signature Series. So you're going to be seeing a number of blended malts coming out from us over the next few months. Um, they're busy going into the bottles right now. I can't wait for the labels to go on and see them first hand. Um, they both taste great. So hopefully they're going to be nice, accessible whiskies for people to really, really enjoy at home as well. I really hope they will get opened and, uh, and shared around between people too. Um, so cheers guys. See you again soon.